the whole world has changed since the last time we sat together and learned. And our lives have changed. And I was all excited to continue with the with that Yaakov, which we will continue with the Mitzvah Shem. Maybe in two or three weeks, we'll continue. But we're right now in the Milchama, we're in the war. We're in a war over here. And of course, our brothers and sisters over there. And as Yirei Hashem is Baruch, we have to we have to understand what is the Ratzon Hashem. What is Hashem saying to us? So we're going to spend we're going to spend a couple of weeks learning it. Since this is a Rav Kuk Chabura, we're going to spend a few weeks learning Eris HaMulcham. You have on your phone, it was sent. I don't know if you don't have, you could probably get it in a second. It's in every edition of the Eris. There's a section after Eris HaMulcham. So there's Eris HaMulcham. There's no other cipher that has, no other cipher that has such a thing called Eris HaMulcham, the light of war. Lights of Milchama of War, Rav Kook. And there's a uh, there's this, a helpful little I wouldn't call it a commentary, just a little bit of a, a helpful uh, couple of words here and there on the bottom that you, that they're from a from a uh, Mashpin at Israel, Rav Chagai, London, which we'll which we'll use a little bit. Milchama war, just by way of Hagdama, of where we're going. Milchama, a war, thank you. War is something which is abnormal. It's not normal. Something which is horrible. But Rav Kook, Rav Kook, all of Rav Kook's farm are, are Iris. Or is a tshuva, or is a tyra. Everything is light, <clears throat> and we are all desperately in need of uh, of some light in this Muhammad to, to see some light in this Muhammad. From the beginning of time, from this parasha, where was the first the first war took place between two brothers? From the beginning of time. War is a reality that's part of creation. It's, we're not as used to it as in earlier years, but it's part of creation. It's part of Hashem's tochnit. It's part of Hashem's program. Everything is HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And because of that, when, uh, what we need to do more than anything else right now, during this time, is to try to listen, not to the, not to all the different, not to all the different commentators and all the different stations and programs and so on, to try as much as we can to listen to the voice of Hashem that's speaking to us in the middle of the horrible noise of of sirens and bombs to hear the voice of Akash Baruch Hu that's Choytzev Lahavas Eish. Hashem's voice has to come, we have to hear Hashem's voice coming to us as clearly as possible through the fire of this Muhammad. When, when there's a Zazua in a person's life, when there's something traumatic that happens in a person's life, Something that's shocking, something that's traumatic. In a person's life, uh, I, uh, and especially something that's as traumatic as 
a Mohammed, a war, and not not just a war, but a war that began with with a very old fashioned pogrom. That we all thought that that was the end of it. There was a there was an old woman, a Holocaust survivor. My wife showed me on the thing that they drove off of her, take her hostage. And I keep on thinking about this. So someone told me that she, she has dementia, which is which, which hopefully she does. Because if she remembers, I, I didn't know what to do with that. That thought that here you have a you have a woman that she was there and 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 she was done with it. She was done with it. She was finished. She got out. Talk about uh, triggering. They use the word trigger. You know, I, that's pretty triggering, no? The thought of it is, is unbearable. The zazua, the shock, the trauma that all of Am Yisrael's right now, we're all in this matzah, and I'm not using the term, I don't like the way the term is being used nowadays, you know, that if you didn't... Uh, if, you didn't, if the person didn't meet you on time to pick you up, to take you somewhere, you were traumatized. I'm not talking like that. This is Bahamas uh, trauma. And this Zazua, this trauma, is more a person to think. To think and to feel. There has not been a time since the Mohammed that that, that, that Bobby was in, there hasn't been such a time when the, when the mind of the Jewish people and the heart of the Jewish people is, is as open. Is, we talked about that this morning. is ripped open. And people of thought, people, thinking people, and people of compassion, Am Yisrael, are thinking and feeling And that's why the moment that the heart opened, was ripped open in such a way, all the silliness of the, of the arguments right away, it says, no, we're in a different place now. And it's a time when people are thinking about, what's the tachlis, what's the tachlis? And, and, in, and as we're going to see in Rav Kook, it's in certain ways, it's a wondrous time where there are, are millions of hiru reitshuva, I saw someone the Chavah showed me that there were sisters that were sent to, to some soldiers, and you have these these non-religious guys, these these uh, who, who last week were, could have been yelling, you know, uh, in Tel Aviv at somebody downing him kipper, and this guy's now jumping around with it with the talus cut, and he's so excited, and he's singing like a Rabbi Nachman song, <laughs> <laughs> because all the walls fell down right away. The massacre, the program, all the pretenses of making believe you're some kind of a, you know, secular non-believer. It's not just thing Hajj is. It's all, it's all a, a wall. It's all a veneer. It comes. There are many, many reasons for it. <coughs> some of them we're to blame for. <coughs> Others are, are from other, other, for other reasons. But, but the walls came tumbling down a couple of days ago. And it's a wondrous time. Filled with pain and filled with thoughts and feelings of tshuva, of tachlis. And we're going to see what Rav Kook says about Mashiach. We're going to have such a hysteris through seeing his words, first of all, trying to decipher his words, as always. You know, Mashiach, we were together with some chavra, I know it seems like like five years ago, but we were actually were, we were in. Rome, this year. It's this year still. Uh, it wasn't even in Ibrio, but it seems like it was a long time ago. I always thought that the, I always thought that, that we spoke about that then, I thought like from the way I grew up, and we saw the coloring books, you know, the, the Hanukkah books, and stuff like that, I always thought it was like the, some huge, so it's pretty dinky little <laughs> arch over there in Rome. And again, someone showed me that there's an Israeli flag there now, that they lit it up with the Israeli flag, Shkayr. <laughs> and and we have a Kabbalah, which I mentioned when we were there. We have a Kabbalah that the Mashiach Tzikainum, the Mashiach who's hidden from our eyes, is sitting in that place, and he's bandaging the wounds 
his own, he's wounded, he's hurt. And he's tending, tending to the wounded in that place. But right now, Mashiach is not, at this moment, Erev Shabbos, Pash is gracious. Tavshim Pedal, Mashiach is not busy with bandages. Mashiach is holding a rifle. Right now, Mashiach is armed and he's standing. He's not crouched over. He's not, he's not crouching from his wounds. Mashiach has come to life right now, this week. And the entire nation is, is filled with tzipiyas, with tzipiyas, with tremendous loggings for Gula, for Mashiach to come riding into town, shooting with two guns, like in the old movies, you know? Mm-hmm. And the Ikka right now, the Ikka of right now, which I'm telling everybody, the Ikka of right now is lit gaber, is to is to be misgaber on depression, to be misgaber on moira chalev and a weakness of heart. The same way that the Pasha Shaif to Milain, how the how when the Jews would go to war, there was a special kind of Meshuk, a special kind that would, would, would give them chizik shmai yisab and kreim ayam, going out to war, not to be afraid, not to run, to be strong. The Avaida at a time of war is his chazkas and his chazkas and more his chazkas. And you must gabra on anything that weakens you. That doesn't mean not to feel the pain. You have to be filled with, the, with, with empathy and with, we have, to, and we have to, to cry for our brothers and sisters and what they're going through, what's happened to these families, what, and what's going to be with them the rest of their lives, how they can have a. Hashem has to help them in ways that are not the Hatava, they need Yeshua. There's tremendous, tremendous Yeshuas that are needed and to feel that pain. And to be nice alive with Am Yisrael and, and all that we're going through, to feel that pain. But not Khalila Khalila, to fall into a place of discouragement, of despair, and to hold up some kind of a white flag. Avaida is an Avaida right now of Ishaskis. Hashem at this time of war is Zayrat Sadakais. In ways that we can't possibly, couldn't possibly ever imagine or think of. And that right now, there's an, the, right now, something is being planted in Eretz Yisrael, in the world. And we're going to be zayched to see, or chadash shall see on Torah. A new light. That's what we're going to be zayched to see. This is the Mahalach of Rav Kook. And that's why I felt that at a time of emergency, we need to do some emergency learning in the Mizgaris of our Limudim of Rav Kook. <coughs> and to learn a little bit, to taste a little bit of the aura, of the light of Aris and Muhammad. This was, this was uh, written during the time of World War I. It was tremendous, tremendous upheaval. People then felt it was going to be, they thought it was going to be the end of the world. And, uh, and you know that Rav Kook was in Gaulus. He got stuck in Europe because he was there for, he was there for a convention. And he got stuck in Europe. He was in Switzerland and then he was actually Rav in London for, during, the time, during the time of the Mohammed. So that's the context in which this mimer, which is just a few pages, the whole Arisam Muhammad is a few pages, not a safer, just a few pages. Arisam Muhammad was written. So let's let's begin to learn. Let's try to we'll learn a little bit. We'll read the Banu to get some help in some of the words and things. We'll try our best to, to draw out from the Muhammad as much light as we can. So, the darkness we're going to have to work for. The darkness, the the chayshech, the tov, the the chayshech is there. But the iris of Muhammad, the light of Muhammad, 
that you need somebody like Rav Kook. Rav Kook was a surgeon. And Rav Kook knew how to take out the iris with everything. That's how he was. When, when everybody else in Eshazor was running around, gloom and doom, when he was alive. During the course of his of those years that he was there, and the rest of Eshazor, there was such darkness and everything, Rav Kook is or, or, or. <clears throat> We have to do that with our children too. We have to help our children see the iris now, the lights. We have to ourselves feel the iris. It's an unbelievably exciting time. And that's not a contradiction to miserable and terrible. It's unbelievable excitement. It's a tremendous, tremendous this iris now. And, we, and, and things right now can, can turn and will in the Shashem in a completely new way. Gracious, this is gracious, brother, it comes so we are not the first Rashi. Kishiyesh He begins. It's hard to listen. If you to listen, try. Kishiyesh melchama gedayla ba'olam. When there's a great war in the world, kishiyesh melchama gedayla ba'olam. Misayer kayach Mashiach. The kayach of Mashiach is awakened. Misayer kayach. Mashiach. Says in Shir Shir, Eis Hazamir Higia. Now that's that's a very, 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 very deep passage. The entire Shir Shir is, of course, a, a love song. Those words, Eis Hazamir Higia. So the word, the word Zamir, simple chat, Zamir is a Zamir. Zamirs. It's a song. Asa Zamir Higia. But but everybody knows that in whoever or at least anybody who learned Hilch Shabbos knows there's something called Zaymer. What's Zaymer? In English, how do you translate the word Zaymer? Pruning. So pruning means that something is being cut. So when you look at the cutting, well uh Right? You look at the act of cutting. So if you don't know how things grow, you see somebody out with a pruning thing, and he's cutting a, a, a branch, and you go, oh, he's right. And you see this person, and it appears to you that he's a killer, he's a murderer. He just, he just cut. So that's, that's horrible. But of course, Zoymer... Is a is a teloda of of of, of Zareya. Even though the the mice itself is a mice of cutting, but the tachlis is grown. The tachlis is something new. Something new is going to grow. So Rav Kook begins with this with this pasuk with these words. Eis has a mir higia. The time. Of the song, of the cutting, of the pruning. Stay tuned, there's going to be big pruning going on. That's what we're looking forward to, coming events. Big pruning. Asa Zamir Higia, the song of the cutting, the time of the song of cutting has arrived. Zamir Zamir Aritza. It's a different pasuk. Zamir Aritza means the cutting down of the wicked. As you see on the side there, they, he helps a little bit. The wiping out of the wicked. Zamir Aritza. Aritza means Rishoyim. It means real. Hamastic. Big Vishayim. Harishayim Nichadim Min Ha'olam. Of course, Rav Kook is going to talk about the innocent that suffer along with that. We'll get to that. But by Melchama, by war, Harishayim Nichadim Min Ha'olam, the Vishayim, the wicked are destroyed, they perish. And the world, it's hard to translate. 
Ha'olim the world is strengthened, is invigorated, is enlivened through the destruction of the Rishon. The Kol Hator Nishma Ba'aretzayin. As the Pasuk goes on, Esa is a Merigia. The Pasuk ends, and the sound of the turtle dove, the call of, the, of peace, Nishma Ba'aretzayin, can be heard in the land. Even during the Mulchama, Rav Kook is saying, listen carefully. Hayechidim han Hayechidim han nisbim b'loy mishpa. We have Jews who, as part of this process of the cleansing of the purification of the world, tragically there are Jews who are nisbim b'loy mishpa who are killed in a way that seems to be unjust. They are unjustly killed. Babies were decapitated. This is a this is his hatches of something that was that that, that uh, we never thought, never could imagine that it would have returned. When the Germans left behind their mess, they tried at the last minute to cover things up. No, they tried desperately to cover things up. <coughs> It's okay. They tried to. They tried. The Nazis tried to cover things up. And Hamas sent out all the pictures they have from them. They went onto the, onto the old lady's face on her own Facebook. You heard this? They sent to her family. The guy that they had, that they killed, to kill an old lady or to take her prison. So, so there are, there are yichidim. There are those who are, for whatever reason, why they were chosen to be killed al Kiddush Hashem, whatever the cheshman is. Somebody from Eretz Yisrael sent me something, which uh, this is, the, you know, you can't sleep now anyway. But even in not sleeping, there are different madregis, you know, not sleeping. But this 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 uh, woman in Eretz Yisrael sent me that, um, you know, that there were, the, the place they went to is they shot a lot of chevra by, by that dance. There was some kind of music festival. And uh, and this woman sent me that one of the individuals who was killed over there was a child molester who had destroyed a family that she knew because of the, uh, what he did with, the, with, that, with the, one of the kids from that family. He destroyed the entire family. And this person, this molester, was killed among those who were mowed down at that, at that uh, dance. And the, and the parents, meaning the, this person's neighbor, who, which she knows are the parents, I guess. She just said this to me yesterday. I have to look it over, really. Maybe not to look it over, but said that the, that the parents... We're davening that that, uh, that that now that this person has been killed al Kiddush Hashem, kind of that somehow that be a kapara for him, and that he should be a melech yosha for their family. Hmm. Now that he understands what from the world of truth, what what on a deeper level, what is. Hmm. I mean, so Hashem has different cheshbonos. That person had that cheshbon. I'm not saying that he was killed for that reason. Nobody knows why anybody was killed, but that's that's different. That, that's uh, that's Shemaim Dika Inyanim. We don't have an understanding of any of these things. These are all wonderful people, good people, but, uh, the Jews. They were killed because they were Jews, and it's not a cheshbon of ours. So before our eyes, what we see is Yechidim Nisbim Beloy Mishpat that there are the individuals, those who were killed. Who killed Bloy Mishpat? Any soldier that was killed so far, <coughs> anybody that's hurt, it's Bloy Mishpat. It seems to us, you know, unjust. 
So you hear him listen to Mishpat, she be soicha mahapecha shall shut the famochama. That within this mahapecha, this revolution, this up turning upside down, shall shut the famochama of the flood of the war. Yesh bomimidis misas sadik mahapecharis. Here is this element of misas sadik mahapecharis that I know it sounds strange to use this lotion. But those who were killed, and again, this has to be taken the right way, in context. Those who were killed had the schus to be killed al Kiddush Hashem. And Mises Sadiqim is Mechaperis. That they were somehow, they were chosen, that through their death there should be somehow a kapara. There should be a reawakening, there should be a kapara. Again, why and how, we don't know who they are, their Gilgulim, where they were from, and who they were. Two lifetimes ago, three lifetimes ago, we don't even understand who they were in this lifetime because we don't know anything. And even if you think you know somebody, you don't know you don't know who that person is. But there is this that there is this this reality that through the that through the the death of these Yechidim, that there is this R of Misa Sadiq Mechaparis. However that works, I'm not going to that right now. Oilim Haim Lamaila Bishar Shachaim. And they ascend, and all ascends, but they ascend Lamalat above to the root of life, to, to the Shar Shachaim, to Kim Chemakur Chaim, to the source of all life, they're with Hashem. They ascend, and they're with Hashem. Va'atzmus Chayehem. Mevi and the Atmos, the Atmos of their lives. Mevi erech kloli letoiver belevracha. Somehow, now, their lives and their death, our Kiddush Hashem, brings to some general quality something letoiver belevracha is part of Hashem's plan to bring to toiver and bracha. El klal binyan ha'olam for the overall structure of the world, the rebuilding of the world, which is now taking place. Bracious, we're going to see it's a process, the rebuilding of the restructuring of the world. That's going to be a big new sign for us. When things quiet down, quiet down. When I say quiet down, I mean after Zemra reads him, after the wicked are, are destroyed. When things quiet down, the same way everybody had all kinds of thoughts. La Havla Alpha Alpha Havdol is that by COVID, after COVID, I'm going to be like this, it's going to be like that. This can't, this is not COVID. Many people died then, it was a, a terrible thing too. But this is different. And we have to be very, very careful. We have to, we have to continuously remind each other and talk about that. And we have to, not to allow ourselves to slip back into something regular. Of course, the routine of life, but chazak, something different. Not to, <coughs> we can't let Mashiach slip away this time. In 1948, he slipped away. We can't let him slip away. The Vach al Klal binyan ha'olam. The overall structure of the world, something that somehow these who were killed are part of that, you said, a part of that Evan Pina, that cornerstone of a new world. In all of its values and senses, Arachav. Muvanav, ways of understanding. Vachakach, <clears throat> and afterwards, Kesoyim HaMolchama, when the war is over, Mishchadesh HaOilin Beruah Chadash, the world is Mishchadesh, is recreated. Beruah Chadash. The Ruach Chodesh, with a new Ruach. Ki'im Beruchim. 
the new ruach. Baruch Hashem Tov Sova Bavuch. V'choshach al Pnei Sa'om. Next words. Ve Ruach Elokim Racheves al Pnei Amayim. So after the so and the vo and the choshek, after the darkness, the ruach elokim. I mean, even during the darkness, ruach elokim is merachefes. It's hovering, right now. That's why not to become depressed. Shabbos, not to be discouraged. Ruach elokim is merachefes. The ruach of Hashem is merachefes. It's hovering over all of us. Each one of us is hovering strong over Aza. Over every soldier, Ruch Lokim is Merachefes. Afterwards, Vayim Lokim Hiyo, Vayiyo. But the Ruch Lokim is Merachefes. During the darkness, the Ruch Lokim is Merachefes. Vachar Kesom Lokham is Chadish Oilam Ruach Chadish. The world is renewed with the Ruach Chadish. Ragli Mashiach Mizgalim Biyais on the footsteps of Mashiach. Amazgalim Biyoyesa are more and more revealed. It should be completely and clearly revealed, but Amazgalim Biyoyesa, even now, even now, in the midst of, of the darkness, Ragli Mashiach Amazgalim Biyoyesa. Ulefi Erka shall guard Laham Lacham Bechamusa Beichusa, and according to the extent of the war. The Kamus, how big the war is and how intense the war is. <coughs> this is the biggest, this is not measured by the by numbers, even though right away, you know, they were saying that because a thousand, a thousand Jews in Eretz Israel is like 36,000 Americans being killed in one day. These things don't, 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 we don't need these things. We don't need calculators for this stuff. It's not only, he says, Uveichuso, how many were killed and how they were killed. This is the Shutfus of Amalek and Yishmal that we learned about some years ago. We had a Chabur on. This is the Shutfus of Amalek and Yishmal. Amalek's in this too. Which is the final Sif. We'll talk about that tomorrow in the afternoon a little bit. We'll get to it. This is the Yenir of the Shor of The Shor of the Shor the ox is Esav, the Chamor is Yishmol. This is the continuation of Hitler Yemachshima. This is the final chapter of in Mein Kampf. You understand? We're holding by the final chapter in Mein Kampf. That's what the Yishmol is now. This Mach of Yishmol. That's why the, that's why the, the Vatican and the Yishmaelim had uh, got along very nice. There's more coming out about that, like because the archives are off, and you you had a little bit. Mm-hmm. Well, <clears throat> since the war, they're trying to they're trying to hide the truth of what what, what was going on with the with the Pope, with the Vatican. And over the years, stuff has leaked out, but now much more is they've been able to get their hands on much more stuff. This should for Savas of Yishmo. the Eichus. So, it's not just a question of how many are killed in the, globally, on the global scale, how many are killed, numbers. The way they were killed. And the intensity of the Mulchama. <clears throat> so, according to that, according to the extent of the war, the Chamus Veichusa, Kacha Tigdal Hatsipiel Eragli Mashiach Shabbat. In, in accordance to that, should the expectation for the footsteps of Mashiach, for the arrival of Mashiach, should the expectation become stronger and stronger? The hope, the excitement, the expectation for Mashiach be stronger and stronger. Nochemes Oilam Shalachshav. The world war that we're going through now, when Rav Kook was writing this, it's filled with an awesome, great, deep longing and expectation and hope. Sadly, it wasn't, again, somehow, in some way, we didn't clinch it. 
<clears throat> there was going to be a second war. And what happened? Until now. Mitzoyev l'chol gilguli hazmanim v'hayrayas keit samagula shles yash v'as eretz Yisrael. So Cook says that this terrible war fills us with great longing. And the war is attached, and this longing of the, the, that comes with the war is attached. The whole Gilwale has man, all the changes that are taking place in the time, in these times, the changes. By Ras Kate Samagula, it's all a visible sign of the end that the Gemara was talking about, because I spoke about that there are very powerful, visible signs that the end is near. Shalas Yash was as so. That's going to bring about, that's already started, he said, the resettling of Eretz Yisrael, the return to Eretz Yisrael. B'deir G'dayla, B'gvura Atsuma, B'gvura Atsuma. Powerful courage, with great, with great, Deya G'dayla, with great intellect and thought. B'gvura Atsuma, powerful courage, powerful courage. Vihigoin amok vichoder. Piercing. Choder means piercing. Piercing logic. Not, not meshugya. Seichel. Piercing logic. Vichukas emes. With a great longing for the truth to be revealed. Uvrayon bahir. And with clear thought. <coughs> We must, with this, with strong intellect, with piercing logic, with a great longing for truth, and with great hope and expectation for the ultimate revelation of that truth. That's, Rav Kook says, that's the way we should receive, that's the way we have to accept and deal with. The lofty content Shall or Hashem of the light of Hashem, Hamizgala that's being revealed by Pula Neflo by Lilay Samul Hamas Halolo Bi with this with these wondrous, strange, remarkable events of the war. That's how we have to receive the Mulham. We just said in Davening. Baal Mulhamas. Hashem is Baal Milchamas. He is the master of wars. Hashem Ish Milchamas. Baal Milchamas. Zerei Tzedakahs. The Baal Milchamas, we just said these words. We say them every day. Baal Milchamas, that same Baal Milchamas, the master of war, the one who is, the one who is, Behind all of this, the Baal Muhammad is in a very, very mysterious way right now, Zerea Tzedakos. He's planting righteousness. Baal Muhammad is Zerea Tzedakos. Boire Refuas. He's creating Refuas. Refuas for, for the sick, physically sick, for the emotionally sick. Right now, there's something going on that Hashem is aware. It's talking. It's very, very refuas. That through through this somehow is going to come a refu to all people who are sick, not just the ones who are sick from the war, but somehow a cure for the world sickness. The biggest sickness in the world now is is, is emotional, and and, there, and besides all the physical sicknesses, La Olayn, Hashem is very, very refuas. You know, Lahavdil. In a certain way, some of the greatest discoveries in medicine and science, the Davka took, Davka took place as a result of Muhammad's. But everything is, in the, is right now, boire, we say in the present tense. And we're saying now, Parish is gracious. Relating this is Parish is gracious. Hashem is creating the world right now. And Hashem is creating in this Muhammad, he's very, 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 very,
we can't understand how he's doing that. He's awesome of praise. We just by Neira Sehilos, we don't understand. We praise him. We can't understand how this is how this is happening. Adoin Haneflois, Hashem is the master of, of all wonders. Hashem is Mechadish Betuvo every day. How much easier it is to feel that. Erev Shabbos, Parshish Bereshis. Mechadish Betuvo Bechol Yom Tomid Maise Bereshis. So Nashi brings down, at the beginning of Torah, brings down, Koyach Masav Higilu Amoy. Lost Islam Nachal's going, but the Gorm are going to say we stole Eretz Yisrael from them. Hashem didn't just give us Eretz Yisrael thousands of years ago. Hashem is giving it to us this moment. You understand? We can't look at, at this as something that just happened a long time ago, that Eretz Yisrael, and we have to try to prove Hashem is giving us Eretz Yisrael this second. Because He's creating the world this second again, and He's creating us, He's creating Eretz Yisrael this second again, and He says it's yours. It belongs to us. And maybe after this cleansing of Eretz Yisrael, many, many, many more Jews are going to finally come to the recognition, to the understanding that Eretz Yisrael is ours. Every inch of Eretz Yisrael is ours. And that there was a, and it was a terrible, terrible, tragic mistake to think otherwise. And to give away, to cut away parts of our, our, of our body, to give it away to our enemies, who we'll only use it in order to, in order to, in order to, to, to try to destroy us. Machadish v'tuva v'chayim tov masi v'chayim tamid ma'is ebreishes, and the end of that brach, of course, is or chadish al tzion toyer. A new light is shining on Yerushalayim. And this kechulonu meheru la'ayra. Now that new light is shining right now. Just like the Ruch HaLokim is merachafes by the, by the Tohu, Vavo, and the Choshech. The Ruch HaLokim is merachafes in the darkness. And Mashiach is here right now. In the darkness of, of the gate of Rome. Mashiach is here now. We're asking, so we're asking Hashem, or Chodeshal Tzion Toyin. That light is shining, but we're asking you that that new light of Yushalayim should shine in a way. That we should be Zoycha to see that light. We believe that it's shining now. In this horrible, miserable situation, we believe that it's, that it's shining. But we're asking you, Hashem, Veniske Chulonu Meheru La'ayra. If it's shining, then why do you have to ask Hashem to be Yishev Zaychet to its light? If it's already shining, then just look. The terrorist says that when it's dark, it's very hard to see that. It's very, very hard to see that. <coughs> but we're asking Hashem, in this kechulon and meheru, we should be Zaychet meheru. Like I mentioned many times with the tzaddikim say that in, in, in davening, Hari l'asham ki tar ki l'ere l'am chazda. In halal, right? Which we said so many times we thank you, Hashem. We believe that you that you that your kindness is is that everything is good. We believe everything is good. And then we say, Let it be so clear and so obvious that every single Jew in the world will say, was, that we're asking Hashem that it shouldn't be. It shouldn't just be something that we have to believe in. It should be something that we could see. It's been a long time of believing. And the time has come to see. And that's what we're asking. Veniske chulonu meheru la'ayra. Some good old-fashioned nisim in the flows, you know? <laughs> like it was in the old days. I have so geschmack. <laughs> in the old days. Just old-fashioned nisim in the flows. Not 10 makas. 10,000 makas. 10 million makas. Hashem can do it. We're asking Hashem, and this is a meheru la'ayra. We should be zayichah for that light in Yerushalayim, of a Yerushalayim that's that's free from all from from, from fear, Yerushalayim that's Yerushalayim that's that's able to breathe, 
that instead of hearing the instead of hearing the sounds of sirens, that we're going to, to hear the sounds of to hear the sounds of the shofar of Mashiach. This Arab Shabbos and everywhere where Jews live in Eretz Yisrael, they're going to be hearing the the sounds of of candle lighting, right? They're going to be hear the they're going to hear the the siren go off for candle lighting. There are so many, so many thousands of children and adults that are, that that are, are that have been terrorized by the sounds of sirens. At my my youngest Shifi in Yudai <coughs> and, and the, my grandchildren, they live in Isaiah Bira, and they're they're Mirpeset. They have a little a little yard there, like by the Mirpeset, is facing Kvishachad. You know who lives across Kvish Yeah. Yeah, our Chash of a cousins live across Kvish Echad. And uh, a few days ago, there was a, a bomb that fell on Kvish Echad. Didn't fall. It was thrown. I mean, they, they were hoping to get somebody. Thank God nobody was hurt. And sirens and sounds of explosions. And everywhere where, if there's some of you just got back from it, cell, and wherever you were, you heard boom, boom, boom. Either the sounds of the of, of missiles landing, or the sounds of, of 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 catching the missiles and stopping them. But the, when we come into Shabbos, there's no no sadness and no depression. <laughs> we're going to say over Shabbos. We're going to say by Kabbalah Shabbos the words of My God, Masach Hashem, Moed Am Kumach Shvei Sacha. We're going to say Rabbi Shalom. We don't understand. My God, Hashem, your ways are very great. And you have very, very deep thoughts about how you're bringing Mashiach about this way. We're all fools. And we can't understand this. But then the next word is are, are growing the Rishayim are like like grass. Yatzitza kopali oven, and all the evildoers are going to be cut down. Yatzitza kopali oven. What are the next words? Ah, uh, let's not say the next words together. The shamdam adeat. Yatzitza kopali oven. The shamdam adeat. That shop is gracious. Tavshin pay dal. It's sita kopa alavin. Yisham demai da. We call this maim rabbe. Maim rabbe madir madir mishpayo. No. I did my marma shem. The sound of 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 I did my marma shem. Yisham demai da yad. Vato marm lo elam hashem. It's just the Pesukim we're going to say, Kabbalah Shabbos. doesn't seem like such a peaceful Pesuk, huh? It's Kabbalah. That's how we come to Shabbos. No more sirens. The sound, that, the sound of our... So the, our sounds are the sounds of the shofar. Our sounds are the sounds of bringing in Shabbos. The sounds of Yishmael, the sounds of, of killing, of, of murdering, sirens, bombs. Our sounds are the sounds of the shofar, of Mashiach. Our sounds are the sounds of, of Geula, of Bayer of Ois, of Or Chodesh al Toya. But in order for us to be able to hear those sounds, to finally hear those good sounds, we have to be zeicher right now for that, the Yisham Damatiyad, and for that, Hina Yevecha Hashem, Hina Yevecha Yevedu. There are mikolas maim rabim. There are so many loud noises that the chaver has been hearing in Eretz Yisrael. Mikolas maim rabim, terrible mikolas, mikolas one. But Adi b'amarim Hashem. But Hashem's voice is going to come out booming. In the loudest way, and we're going to see that Pesach Hashem receiving Shabbos now. 
And she be a Shabbos to be zayich to see ki yoni vech Hashem ki nevech vech yevedu yispada kol pa leyoven, and and it'll be hopefully it'll be a Shabbos all daven that our brothers and sisters and Eretz Yisrael it should be it should be quiet it should be peaceful that somehow that it should be already the 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 beginning of all that we're learning about all that we're talking about we should be zayich to see these iris of niske cholano meheru la iris iris on the shiur with blessing of amitus maybe I know maybe we'll continue next week with us. It's died badly. I want to find the batteries. Shall we try anything? Batteries.